The purchase order processing system, created by Simex, will drastically reduce the operational cost of handling customer purchase orders by complete automation of the process. The purchase order processing system consists of two parts, the back-end data processing and the front-end web user interface. The solution can be installed on the client's premises or hosted by Simex in our secure cloud-based data center. Purchase orders can be loaded into the system from different points of origin. Customers or salespersons can upload documents using the web portal. Dragging and dropping files from your local folder will immediately bring the data into the system. Purchase orders can also be sent to a dedicated mailbox over email. The system will automatically pick them up. Files can be pulled from remote folders or cloud-based storages. In addition, we can create custom data accessors by requests from our clients. Let's take a closer look at the data processing steps. Incoming documents are automatically categorized by detecting the purchase order format from customer metadata or by analyzing the document's data layout. The files go through optical character recognition engine when the processing of scans or images is required. The purchase order processing system implements two approaches to extracting purchase order data. The first approach is typical for organizations with a stable group of customers and data layouts. Data parsing components are created for every customer format. The dispatcher component automatically detects formats and dispatches incoming files to the corresponding parsing projects for data extraction. The second approach is used when the creation of dedicated data extraction projects for every format is not feasible, such as when customers or formats change frequently. The auto configuration module will dynamically create data extraction rules for each input file and extract data using an automatically configured text converter. The dispatcher checks whether an incoming purchase order belongs to any of the predefined formats and passes the file to the corresponding data extraction component. If a file does not have a dedicated parser already configured, the dispatcher will pass the execution to the auto configuration module for extraction. Extracted data is loaded into the purchase order database, which is also a part of the purchase order processing system. Any inconsistencies found during either extraction or validation are reported. They can be viewed online, using the web portal, or they can be configured to automatically create a detailed exception report and sent over email to the administration. The data from purchase order database can be submitted to a client's centralized storage or sent to systems such as NetSuite, PeopleSoft, SAP, and others. Let's run the process. The purchase orders are getting recognized and processed by the corresponding components. Some of them are handled by format-specific parsers, and some go through the auto configuration module. Several dozens of purchase order files are processed and loaded into the system database. The extracted data is ready to be analyzed, edited, and reconciled. Now, we turn our attention to the web part of the system. The user interface of the system is a web application, which can be published on any Windows server. The portals are secured with user authentication, encryption, and the role-based access. I'm logging in, as one of the salespersons. The files page lists all the purchase order files which belong to the currently logged user. The list can be filtered by names, statuses, and dates. The viewer, on the right side of the page, helps to identify files from the list. Drag and drop purchase order files here, or use the file dialog to upload documents into the system. The purchase orders page shows extracted data and source files. Data with missing fields or mismatching totals is highlighted in red. The missing data can be added here. purchase orders, and their items can be edited, added, or deleted. The rich collection of analytical tools will help to slice and dice your data any way you need. Various graphs, hierarchical grouping, drill down, 
and interactive filtering will allow you to view the data from any angle and any business perspective. The seamless integration with Microsoft Power BI will give you even more analytical power. Maps, link to charts, dynamic querying, and the ability to change visualization on the fly will help your users to understand data quickly. The web application also includes a comprehensive implementation of user management, document assignment, and customer relationship management. Now let's get back to the data processing part of the system. I want to give you a quick demo of our data extracting component, Text Converter. This will show how easily it will be to create a dedicated data parsing project for a customer format. I add a new Text Converter component into the solution and drag an input file into it. Then, I set up a template from any line corresponding to item data and make the description field multi-line. The item level data extraction is set. The output preview dynamically displays the extracted data. Let's add a top level template for extracting top level data. I'm adding tag fields. Their values will be picked up relative to the corresponding labels or tags. I can add fields by adding labels, or I can highlight a value placeholder, add it as a field, and select an appropriate label for it. This is address data. Let's parse it into separate address fields. Another way to set up tagged fields is to add tags and assign values to them. The extraction part of the setup is ready. Now I will initialize the output dictionary from the destination table structure and connect input and output fields. I begin with setting up the output destination, which is a SQL table from our purchase order database. The list of output fields is taken from the output table structure. There are several ways to connect input and output fields. I can select both field lists and connect fields by names. Fields with similar names are connected. Also, I can select fields in each list and connect them individually. Another way to connect fields is using drag and drop. All fields we need to take from the input file are now connected to the respective output fields. The data extraction setup is finished. You could see for yourself how quick and easy a project configuration can be. This concludes the presentation of the purchase order processing system. Please contact me with any questions or requests for personalized demos. Thank you for watching.